All right, this is about how to take your gold out of the U.S. If you're a U.S. citizen, uh, what are the rules and regulations for taking out gold? Well, according to the government, if you have $2,500 worth of gold, and my understanding is that's the value of the gold, uh, or the weight of the gold, not the, the dollar amount um, printed on the coin or the value printed on the coin, you need to fill out a customs form if it exceeds two thousand five hundred dollars you need to fill that out and upon leaving the United States you need to give that into customs now in my experience if you were to fill that out that form you're the you're advertising to the government what you're doing which I don't like another thing is uh, when you're running through the airport most of the time they don't know what the hell to do with it and that's the main problem but according to the new law that's what you got to do now my experience is um, if you just carry your coins in your carry-on and you're leaving the airport uh, they just look at them and make a nuisance of themselves and then let you on through my best advice is is to carry less than ten thousand dollars worth of gold and when I say gold I mean gold and cash if you happen to have cash According to the government, if you carry more than ten thousand dollars worth of uh, cash instruments or cash or gold, or, or you need to report it. So, the best advice is to keep that under ten thousand. In my experience, if you have up to three thousand dollars in cash, and actually, really, whatever amount amount of gold you have, they don't seem to mind too much. But if you don't want to run the risk of having your assets seized, it would be best to keep it under under that ten thousand dollar limit another point is um, to not go through a, a really big busy airport like JFK or uh, Dallas um, that's where there seems to be a lot of problems you can kinda of google on, on the internet and find out but uh, my experience is if you go through a small airport and then you uh, fly to a bigger airport once you go through the uh, TSA uh, you don't usually have to show your coins again so if you're worried about that uh, start off from a small airport if you happen to be carrying your gold to uh, let's say Latin America my best advice would be is not to fly to walk across the border as of 2015 not all the borders but at least the borders I go through you uh, there's no one gonna look at you or ask you how much money or cash or gold you're taking out you just walk on across and and away you go and because there's been so many problems in Mexico with gold coins I wouldn't recommend you fly out of Mexico but keep on going and when you get to Guatemala Honduras say you happen to want to go to Europe you could fly there directly the only problem there is it's pretty dang expensive and you need to be aware of if you're flying with your gold whatever country you gotta fly to you have to figure out what those regulations are because some countries you can bring in as much gold as you want without without declaring it but most countries you have to declare it so you need to find out where you're going what the rules and laws are for that in my experience is they don't much care if it's a small amount of gold coins say under five or ten thousand dollars um, so keep that in mind uh, I don't have too much else to say about it